we have some exciting news to share with you today. So we made a quick video for you. Let's have a look. That's right. We're incredibly thrilled to share with you today that we have activated over 100 million Android devices worldwide. Today, I'm going to tell you what's coming next. First, we're announcing an upgrade to Honeycomb, Android 3.1. We're, we're rolling it out today, starting with Verizon Zoom 3G customers. Now, it's not been very long since we first launched Honeycomb, but we've managed to get a lot of nice user enhancements into the 3.1 upgrade. Let me show you a couple of them. First, people really like the new task switcher we introduced in Honeycomb. You can see it here. We figured that if switching between a few tasks was good, then switching between more will be even better. So we made it so you can scroll through to see all of your most recent tasks. Now, remember that Android has true multitasking. So some of these apps may really be running, and some may not. But the user doesn't need to care. This is possible only on Android, because we're using some unique technology that automatically shuts down and restores applications transparently. The system manages resources for you, so you'll never run out of memory, and you'll never be asked to quit in order to launch something else. Next, remember the improved widgets we introduced in Honeycomb? Let's look at the scrolling Gmail widget. That's pretty nice, but what if you get a lot of mail? Well, for that, we're taking widgets to the next level. Great news for Google TV users, and it gets better. Google TV will also be getting the Android market. So all of you developers, <laughs> so all of you developers will now be able to create apps for Google TV using exactly the same SDK that you're using for Honeycomb. Consumers who already have a Google TV device will automatically get the update over the air. And there are new Google TV products based on 3.1 coming from Sony, Vizio, Samsung, and Logitech. Today, users can go to Android Market to get applications as well as books. We added the Books tab to Android Market back in February of this year. And the way it works with books is that when you purchase a book on Android Market, whether it's from the Android Market website or from your Android device, that book is instantly available to read across all your devices. Now, we're able to do this because your book purchase is tied to your Google account, not to any specific device. I'm happy to announce that we are bringing the same experience to Android Market for movies as well. <laughs> Starting today, users can rent movies from Android Market and instantly stream them via the cloud to their computers or to their Android devices. We have a selection of thousands of titles available to rent, uh, competitively priced, starting at $1.99. Today, we're introducing Music Beta by Google. When you add your music to the new service, you can listen on the web or any compatible device. No wires, no painful syncing. Your music collection is stored in the cloud, so you can stop worrying about where your songs are and start enjoying your music. Perhaps you heard a rumor or two. So let me show you how it works. This is Music Manager, a program for Windows and Mac, which helps you add your songs to the new music service. You can select specific folders, but if you pick your iTunes or Windows Media Player library, all of your playlists, play counts, and ratings are added along with your songs. So let's jump to the browser. In a second, you'll see the album view of my music library. But I can browse by songs, artists, and genres. Music on the web is a full-featured music manager with everything you'd expect. Search, info editing, ratings, and play counts. Let's go to the home view. It displays recently played and recently added music. 
Now let's drill into the album detail view. Love that transition. Just double click on a song and it plays right away. All of my existing playlists are there on the left, and I can quickly create new ones. Select a couple songs, drag them over, and name the playlist. When I create the IO Jams playlist, it's available right away on all my devices, my tablet, my phone, or any other computer. But to make creating playlists even easier, we have a new feature. We can build a playlist automatically for you based on any song you like. We call this Instant Mix. Let's say I'm in the mood for some earth, wind, and fire. Notice the search suggestions that appear right away as you type. Select a song, and Instant Mix selects 25 tracks from your library that go great together. To do this, we look at artist similarity, and like some other smart playlist creation tools. Our model literally listens to your music. With machine learning, we find similar tracks based on how they sound to build a truly ingenious mix. There are some unbelievably cool Android devices coming out now and over the next few weeks and months with really interesting new form factors and awesome new features. In fact, an example is this device right here. Um, this is the new Samsung 10.1 tab. Um, it's a great new device with a dual core processor. It's got a super sharp screen that's 720p video capable. It's got dual band Wi-Fi support. It's really slick. It's thinner and lighter than you'd ever imagine. Um, this device is uh, going to launch in about a month or so, so it's not available to anyone yet, with one exception. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks to Samsung, all 5,000 of you are getting one today. <laughs>